Welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian with uh, our spiritual leader, Reverend Jimmy Ray. How are you this evening? Reverend? Praise the Lord, Daniel. Good to see you again. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, it's really good to be back. I know we haven't been together for a while. It's been a while. And how are you doing, Daniel, in your walk with Jesus Christ? I'm doing very well. I'm reading the Bible every day, and I'm growing spiritually uh, with with the Holy Spirit in my heart. Oh, praise the Lord. Now, Daniel, I want to talk about a very important topic today. And I don't want to offend you because I know you're kind of a new baby Christian. Now, we're going to talk about something that's very touchy for some people, lots of people out there, but I believe the Bible and I believe God's Word. Do you know what homosexuality is, Daniel? Uh, yes, Reverend, I've heard of that, yes. God didn't make no Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve. Is Eve a man or woman, Daniel? E Eve is a woman, Reverend. Yes, a nice, shapely woman. That's right. He wasn't Steve, it was Eve. Now, we're going to talk about homosexuality today. What does the Bible say about it? And what does God think about it? Are you ready, Daniel? I'm, I'm ready. I want to know what God thinks about everything. Well, it's right here in the Bible. Now, I'm going to take a scripture from the Old Testament, one of my favorite books. Oh, I love it. There's so much action. <laughs> you see God's working hand in Leviticus chapter 20. Have you ever read this book, Daniel, Leviticus? No, Reverend. I, I thought that that one was kind of boring. Boring? Oh, <laughs> This is glorious. It's the work of God. I'm going to read a couple of verses. Is there anyone who curses his ma and pa? He shall surely be put to death. This is what God thinks about that. Verse 10. If there is a man who commits adultery with another man's wife, they should both be put to death. Death. And look at this. Verse 13. Let's make it relevant to the topic today. Daniel, read that verse 13 for me nice and loud so everybody can hear you. If there is a man who lies with a male as those who lie with a woman, both of them have committed a detestable act. Mm -hmm. They shall surely be put to death. There it is. God's word and law written for us right there. If there's a man who likes a man, God don't get too happy about that. He don't like that. Okay? I, I can see that. Now, do you know anybody that's a homosexual? Yes, Reverend. I, I, I think I have some friends who are gay. Oh. Does that mean that we have to put them to death? Well, I, 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 I've been struggling with this and praying about this for a while. Now, I know the Bible says it in the Old Testament, but I think what I can do is give you a verse from the New Testament that kind of justifies it. It makes it not so harsh, maybe. <laughs> but it says in the New Testament, Romans 6, the wages of sin is death. So, but the gift of God is eternal life. So what I believe that is, is if someone's a homosexual and they don't change their ways and they're still an old atheist homosexual, like I think maybe your friend or some of those other guys, they're going to die. But I don't necessarily feel we need to kill him. But it says they're going to die a spiritual death, which means, I hate to say it, but they go to hell. There is a place called hell for those that reject Jesus. You're saved from hell. Yes, I'm going to heaven. Yes, because of Jesus. Now, I want to go quickly to the New Testament. Well, I'm, I'm just glad we don't have to kill them, Reverend. I, no. I don't know if I could handle that. You know, it's kind of tough, but hey, God did say it. Some of my preacher buddies take that Leviticus 20 seriously, and they want to incorporate that into the law here in America. I don't know. What do you think about that, Daniel? Well... We I, I, you mean different different people disagree on what the Bible means? Well, it says it in Leviticus 20. What about if somebody agrees with the whole Bible and they don't make a justification? Kind of like I did. Uh, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But 
and it says to kill them. What would you think if they made a law in our new constitution, the Christian theology, theocracy, about killing homosexuals? Do you think that's God's word and should we do it? Well, I, I, I would want the, the law to say whatever God wants. Okay. okay. But I think we need to go over here to New Testament because this is the one I like. Have you heard of a guy named Paul the Apostle? No, Reverend. He's the second most important guy in the entire New Testament. He was a big old time missionary. He loved Jesus. Here's what he wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? You're in the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> you came to Christ. Yeah. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, they ain't going. Idolaters, adulterers, messing around with somebody else's wife. They're not going to the kingdom of God. The effeminate guys who act like little old schoolgirls. Nor, what's that say? Nor homosexuals. Say it loud so can the viewers hear. Nor homosexuals. Will what? Will inherit the kingdom of God. They ain't going to inherit the kingdom of God, Daniel. So the Apostle Paul, he is second most important after Jesus. That's right. And he says that the uh, a similar list from from the Old Testament that we just read is still in effect right there. Daniel, that's brilliant. I never thought of that before. See, the Lord gave you that thought. Very good, Daniel. Wow. It's the same list from the Old Testament. Kill them with the Old Testament. Now, New Testament, they're just going to die spiritual death in hell. It's I don't know which one's worse. They're both pretty bad. But we got your friends, those that are homosexuals. What are we going to do about them, Daniel? Well, maybe we could pray the gay away. Pray the gay away? Thank you, Jesus. You're brilliant. Let's pray the gay away for your friends so they will not suffer the eternal death. Shall I pray or shall you? Well, I think that you should lead in the prayer this time, Reverend. You're the one who is experienced. Well, that's true. Okay, let's pray. Okay. Viewers, join us in prayer just like Brother Oral Roberts did on TV years ago. It works by faith. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today, before your holy throne, Daniel and I together, and we pray for Daniel's friend. Can I say his name? I'd rather not. Okay, friend. God knows his name. Okay. Uh, excuse me, God. Uh, yes, where was I? Oh, yeah. We pray for Daniel's friend. The gay guy, the homosexual. Lord God, in Jesus' name, I pray the gay away. Thanks, Daniel. That was good. We pray the gay away in the name of Jesus. We want Daniel's friend to come to Christ just like Daniel did. We believe this by faith in Jesus' name. Let's say it together, Daniel. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh. Praise Jesus. Well, thank you, Reverend, and we hope you continue to join us as we... Grow as Christians.